Yo, yo, mic check, one, two. You are watching Quest Combo, where we talk the culture because we are the culture. I'm your favorite hip hop connoisseur, Drew Soul Quest. And this is your boy, Von Shula, one more time. Yo, today on Quest Convo, y'all, before we, uh, you know, move forward, y'all see we got a, a, a unfamiliar face in, on the pod today. This man right here, uh, just to give y'all a little background, uh, first of all, he can rap his ass off, he can sing his ass off, a, a genuine, true talent. Um, you know, he's kind of dabbling in the media world as well, kind of trying to make yeah. that transition, you know, trying to do it all, get them multiple streams going. Uh, yeah, out of Dallas, Texas. Uh, I got to give it up, man. We are happy to have last page on Quest what's Combo up? today. Paige, what's man. up, bro? Man, what's I'm good, on? man. I'm, I'm I'm happy to be here, man. Thank you for for bringing me on, man. It's been a long time coming, brother. Yeah, man. We go way back, man. I'm glad to have yeah. you here, man. We we gonna get into it. Give him a little background for sure. Okay. Um, but. Yeah, but before we move forward, uh, hey, we want to thank, like we do on every podcast, we want to thank everybody that's supporting, everybody that's showing love. Um, the numbers are going up, more people are reaching out, more people want to get involved because they see what we really own. It's all about that hip hop culture. It's all about being genuine. Um, it's all about uh, balancing out, um, you know, hip hop media you know, showing y'all different sides of it. So that's what we about here at Quest Convo, and we love the support. If y'all are watching on YouTube, make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you are aware every single time we drop episodes. Um, if you're watching on culture73.com, if you're listening to us on uh, Apple Podcasts or Spotify, make sure y'all do the same thing, man. Share it, share it, share it, like it. That's the only way we're going to grow. That's the only way we're going to keep everything moving. Also, uh, we got to give shots out to dopesthiphoptees.com. Y'all check that out. Uh, they are dope tees and hoodies made for cool people that love hip-hop culture, created by cool people that love hip-hop culture. So y'all check out dopesthiphoptees.com. Uh, they still got the promo going on right now. You uh, hit the promo code or put in the promo code, rather, I love hip hop, and you get 20% off all purchases. That is dopesthiphoptees.com. All right. Yeah, that's dope. That's dope. Oh, for that's sure. Dope. Yeah, man. I got to talk to you about the merch, too, man. So, uh, got some new stuff coming out. Definitely going to get you uh, familiar with that. Uh, but we are here, man. And today uh, we have, you know, every once in a while, we have trending talk episodes where it's just that instead of me and Vaughn, you know, uh, talking our commentary, talking our shit on particular subjects or if we're not interviewing a, a musical guest or somebody in the hip hop community, we have our trending talk episodes where we're just basically talking about just that. What's trending in hip hop culture? What's been going down over the past few days, over the past few weeks? Everything is uh, recent. You know what's been going on. So that's what we on today. Um, I kind of just want to start it off, though, uh, you know, nice and simple. Just pretty much talk about uh, some new music we might have been listening to, you know, what y'all think about it and all that stuff. Uh, who who, who want to go first? I'm, I'm going to go last on mine. Well, you know what, man? I ain't even finna lie, man. All I've been bumping lately is Larry Jones, bro. Good choice. Good I've been bumping Larry day. Jones, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, <laughs> eat, eat, you know, drink, drink green smoothie, stay healthy. You know what I'm saying? Work out, get your credit right. Like he motivating. You know what I'm saying? Like that's something I need in my ear every day. You know what I'm saying? Because I just I ain't even gonna lie. It's like the the more I listen to Larry, the closer I feel like I'm getting to that goal. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Mm. 
That's some good talk right there. Yeah. For real, man. You know, he I mean, he just he player like he when I when I listen to Larry and I look at Larry, I'm like, this this nigga is me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like like low key, like he that nigga is me, you know? Yeah, yeah. I I, yeah, I feel man. that man, especially today. It's hard to find the artist that even really inspire a motherfucker like that. That's talking about mm -hmm. some real shit that make you want to live a better life and still get your money and be on some positive shit. It's hard to find artists like that. It's hard. Like he ain't, he an artist. He the nigga. This nigga ain't finna get no hit with no Ricos. No, he a business no. man. You know what right. I'm saying? Nigga right. got a father, several all sources that shit. of income. It ain't just it ain't just the rap shit. You know what I'm saying? Like he real, he realistic about his shit. You know what I mean? You got a lot of these rappers. They come in the game. They be having it. You nigga, I know that's prop money. I know that's prop money. They be having that money, holding that shit up to their ear like they really doing something. You know what I'm saying? You know how you know how hard it is for artists to get paid out when when they albums come out. How hard it is for them to get paid because they got so many middlemen to got their hand in the fucking pot to to try to get a percentage off of that album. The only way they make their money is when they on tour. That's the only way they really see that money. <laughs> A lot of them was hurting during the pandemic too. You shit, a lot of them you ain't even hear from them no more because they weren't doing no shows. Them niggas was not bringing in no revenue. You know what exactly. I'm saying? They, it's just exactly. you know that rap money is more is more to it. It's deeper than that shit, and that's why I respect him. You know what I'm saying? I respect him as an artist and as a businessman. Like he's just all around solid. For sure, for sure. Yeah, I, I feel you on the June tip. Uh, for one, he he has a good way of mixing the new with the old, but his shit is real nostalgic. Like like the simplicity of it. Like if you just want to hear a nigga ain't got no uh, stupid crazy ass ad libs, ain't doing a whole bunch of yodeling and bullshit and auto tune right. and all that shit. The nigga <laughs> just straight. He just straight raps. Yeah. The nigga just straight spit, nigga. Yeah, right. Just straight <laughs> spit, man. Yeah. No, no gimmicks, nigga. Just rapping. Just in and, a and world then full the, of damn gimmicks. Right. And then the beats be like on some. I mean, truly, like, cause, cause, uh, like I know, dude. Is, is he from? He's from down south, ain't he? No, no. He got. He got. He just got ties in the south. Like okay. the south. The south was the first to really embrace him before he started getting off to the Midwest. Cause he from, okay. he from California. He from- That's what uh, I'm saying. I thought he's from out west. Hey. I thought he was he from out west. San Francisco, California. Yeah. Bay Area. And, uh, Bay Area. Yeah, okay, man. So. Yeah, man. That, that boy from the Bay. So he, uh, Damn. he be back and forth from Houston or whatever. You know, he fuck with Jay Prince and them or whatever. So he be, he be back and forth, you know what I'm saying, through Houston all the time. He, I went to his last concert he had. It was, it was actually his last, uh, last tour, last concert tour, like the last, his last one. His in Dallas was his last stop, and I went, man. That shit was so live. It was a whole different crowd. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. Everybody had their orange, you know, they orange uh shirts on with the Larry June, had the Larry June shoes on. I mean, it was a vibe, man. It was Damn. a vibe. The whole concert. Okay. Motherfuckers in there getting cloudy. You know how the concerts be. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Damn. So he from the West. Yeah, because the beats be on some. I mean, that that old down south shit, like some old UGK, some ghetto boy. The beats be. Okay, but but you know who who produced right that boy uh Cardo Cardo from Texas Cardo mm. got wings nah, Cardo he from is Texas that, is that nigga yeah he's yeah. that guy man yeah he, Von, I, like, he, I like the projects payroll Giovanni be having with him too yeah Von put me on the Cardo he 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 fuck with him yeah because so. I'm like because of currency and Wiz and all them niggas. Mm -hmm. Oh, that, that whole that that's whole circle. Like, that's my whole exactly. That's like my whole music circle. Like, yeah, you wouldn't you wouldn't hear me say, put on uh Lil Yachty or some shit. Mm -mm. Ooh, uh, ooh, play Young Thug. Like you, you not gonna <laughs> hear me say that, bro. It's crazy <laughs> though. It's crazy. Niggas really don't even. They don't even announce it. They just play the shit. 
and you just look up and it's just a nigga in your ear, you know, yeah, just like, whining and fuck. shit. So niggas don't even ask permission no more. They just put the shit on. Yeah, pretty much. But uh, yeah, man, mad shots and respect out to Larry June. You doing your thing right now, man. You you uh you one of them artists I'll say making the hip hop culture. You moving it forward, definitely. Hell uh, yeah, for real. Yeah, uh, appreciated all the last track on his new shit, nigga. I can't get enough of that song. I love Which that one? shit, bro. The the very last song on his new shit, appreciated all. That's my oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, I can't that's, get that's enough my of that. Shit too. Oh my god, bro, that fucking beat. I like that other one that uh, what you say, gas up the motherfucking whip. I'm like it, moving, moving, talking like Jamaican. What it, man? Hey, yeah, he's he, that he guy. He putting out good body of music. You know what I'm saying? He a young nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You know, coming coming in the game like 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 he a old old school cat. Like that nigga been here before. You know what right. I'm saying? But but that's that's just. The influence he he got from them pimps and the players, you know what I'm saying? That, 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 that's where a lot of that shit came from. You know, sugar free fuck with him, tough. Okay, <laughs> right, right, exactly, right up. His I alley. love sugar. I, I, I love sugar free, and I only been I only knew this nigga for like the what the past two and a half years, and then find out this nigga go back like thirty. I was yeah, like, sugar but free then I found, way but back. then I found out about sugar free, and this nigga was instantly my uncle, like instantly. Yeah. I didn't. <laughs> Yeah, I like guy, truth, yeah, man. straight up. This nigga taught me more about a whole bunch of shit than I learned in in a couple minutes than I learned in a few years. So I was like, damn. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, instantly. He straight be talking that game. Oh yeah, it's just like he can't he, he, he can't not talk it. Yeah, it'd be he, like it'd be like comedy it. too, though. It'd be like it'd be it'd be like comedy yeah. too. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like you can't help but laugh. Like, be funny as hell, too, but he funny than the motherfucker. You know? Yeah, yeah, for yeah, sure. yeah, for sure. Because part of it is that nigga's voice, his delivery and shit. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Yep. Okay, shit. So what about you, Vine? What, what you uh, uh listen to anything lately? Anything basically, new? Or? Um. I mean, shit. I'm still stuck on this damn Kendrick. Um, okay, but other than but um, other than that, um, they really just like, oh man, I got to sit down. It's, it's been kind of thin this year. It seemed like I don't know if it's just me. Maybe it's not like I mean, it's some good stuff. Obviously, the Larry June and stuff like that is in there. But outside of a couple singing, because shit, nigga, what is it? September? Mm. Damn, where did where did fucking year go? Man, quick uh, as fuck. You know, so that that's kind of what's making me think about it, it being thin musically. It's just it ain't really been a whole lot of stuff that appealed to me. I'll put it like that this year. Um, but nah, definitely just found out about that JID, the JID, mm. like probably a week and a half ago, and I, I can't stop. That's uh, uh this old boy with Dreamville, ain't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. J I J I D. I can't. Okay, I've been nice listening thing. to that. I've been listening to that for like the past week and a half, and I just can't stop. It don't. I don't know. And it's like I don't even know. I found out about this nigga from fucking two K. That's how I got put on to this nigga. Is he had a song on two K, and that song was dope as hell. And that just basically sent me down a rabbit hole. I ain't been disappointed since. Uh, and then another thing, Dizza, he came out with another project, but oh, it's yeah. like. Yeah, but it Damn. was like it was false advertising because it's like was not this nigga. It was like <laughs> I, it was one y'all and there and every nigga listening to this. It's one of them projects where like it's a nigga who come out with some with some shit in his name, but then it's like all his niggas. And I'm like, I ain't signed up for this. I you know, you 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 sold me short by by putting your name on it. And same and putting it out like it's your project, oh, and it, it and it, and and, and like it, it ain't it ain't nothing but all his niggas and and the side niggas just on. The, I'm like, oh, look, I appreciate okay. you giving your guy shine and all this other shit. Present it as that. I didn't click on this shit to hear your niggas. I clicked on this well, shit thinking it was been, some shit from it you. Could have been his. It's conflicting because I just keep getting a little bit more disappointed with the last couple releases these past couple months. Or you mm. or last few years, you know, I don't know. You smoke Dizzle? Yeah, mm. I like that project with him and Pete Rock, though. Don't oh, smoke don't smoke Rock, rock is the shit. 
Yeah. Hell but see, that's that's a few years ago, though. But see, that's a few years ago, though, where I'm like, nigga, you're not doing shit like that. Not to you know, at least not at the level you used to be doing it. Like right. he, he, he kind of just it gets to the point where it's like this nigga just it it just seemed like he just be so damn high and just be like, well, just pull some shit out the vault and give it to him. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I mean, that nigga, right. that's that's I'm like, nigga, that's cool. But I'm like, it you know, are you even present in the booth anymore? Shit. I mean, mm. he he slow he slowly getting out the loop because I mean. He only got this certain crowd that know who he is, cause it's a lot of niggas that don't know who Smoke Diz is. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, mine is, and it's so funny, boy. Like, it is a million niggas that rap. Like, for example, so you know, I, I'm on it every Friday. Like, I'm a true junkie with the shit. I I, I have to go every Friday. I'm the nigga every Friday at midnight. I got to be there and see what the fuck came out. That's me. And like this week, nigga, I'm scrolling. I'm like, I've never heard of none of you niggas. Yeah, that, I'm seeing that a lot more in this day and age, yeah. too. I'm like, who the, like, who the fuck are y'all? I mean, that's what it seemed like, shit. Like, we, and, like what we was talking about, uh, motherfucking, uh, they got an AI they was giving a record deal to, to that fucking artificial oh, I seen that intelligent shit. thing. That, that's the time we in right now. They just getting random niggas. These, these probably some old rich ass kids that probably already done came for money and shit. <laughs> no, it is. That's what it was, motherfuckers. You know that's, what I'm saying? Yeah, that's yeah. literally what it was. See, they, rap it was this, son. Rap, rap like this, son. No, it was it was legit a whole ass white boy who was behind that shit. Rapper, yeah. rapper, a whole nigga, black as hell, chains, grills. All that, and then you see the face behind this. It's it's, it's a fucking it's a trust fucking fund kid, white boy. Yeah, see, I was like, that, nigga, I'll throw a shoe at your dumb ass shoe. Now, see, I didn't hear so, I, and I got to go back and research it. So, I I, I was her. I saw that the actual dude that was voicing the the AI guy, it was they were saying like he was black, but the people that put the whole shit together, they was white. Yeah. But but the actual nigga that was the dude who was voicing the AI character was black. Right? What's a white yeah. boy? But they but they what got him a... to play the role though. Oh, they basically got right. him to they casted him like they'll cast you for a movie. Mm. And it was some bullshit. I'm like, nigga, you you just you just there for a, what either the check or a clout. And I'm pretty sure it's more clout than check. Yeah. So I'm like, nigga, we just getting you to be this voice. You know them damn motherfuckers probably had nothing in place to make sure he was he was straight or, or was getting some money. If that shit would have gone on, you know all them, them white boys would have made all that damn money, and he probably yeah. wouldn't have got shit. And see the thing yeah. with it, it it was doing decent numbers, and he had uh, the AI. I can't even remember the niggas, the little character's name, but you know he had a couple songs with Gunner, and you know I don't really fuck with Gunner, but Gunner is big as fuck right now in the, in the rap world. You know what I mean? So they well, they have some. He'll be soon forgotten. He'll be soon forgotten. <laughs> we just need to talk about that because I I just keep hearing like I know who Gunny is and shit, but then they like you know like you just said oh he big as fuck and then I'm just like who though like who's made well, you know because I'm the, cause, the nigga that went to jail the nigga with, that went with to jail with Young Thug but, yeah yeah but I'm just looking like who's look like, like, why like, is like he so big well not even why is he so big but it's like. I, I feel like it has to be it damn near got to be a differentiation between, you know, is this nigga hot? Because, you know, a combination of shit is young is young and white people making this nigga hot or is niggas making this one particular dude hot or whatever. the case, You know, I, it's like because I, I keep hearing c- certain dudes names. And I'm just like, how are you hot when nobody around me that I know played they shit? <laughs> I ain't it'd be, never. It'd be the area. It'd be the area. Know. It'd be the town they be in. Yeah, they'd I'm be just making like that shit hot, making it like it's real hot. So it's influencing other areas that's seeing it. You know what I'm saying? Before it you know it, it's out. like yeah, it's just it's a trendy thing, or you know, it's one of them things where you know you you gonna hear it now regardless. You got no choice yeah. but to hear it because somebody every other person banging that shit. You know what I'm I saying? I saw something. I saw something on on Spotify. I said uh, I I forget exactly when it was. But it was like yeah, uh, 
NBA young boy like the the twelfth most streamed nigga in the world. I said, bro. Oh, he he is. I'm not yeah. doubting that. Fucking where? Who? Uh, on but, YouTube, you know. his YouTube numbers are stupid. Shit. Yeah, they man. dumb. Who is listening to this he, shit? Uh, so little little the, demonic the, the ass, tw- little, twelve to twenty year old niggas. niggas. Twelve to twenty years yeah. old. They niggas love are still that nigga. peeing in the bed until they 17, 18. <laughs> And I just, I'm just like, but I'm like, but, but my thing is, what the fuck, what the, what did that person do necessarily that made them just blow up like that or had that kind of reaction or following behind them that other niggas that, that do the exact same shit that's probably better or worse, it don't matter. But you know, that's not what, what is other niggas not doing? That's what I'm trying to say to get that. So I think with, so with NBA Young Boy, I'm gonna say part of his appeal is first of all, he's definitely for, like I said, that pretty much that that age group from 12 to 20. Uh we know that everybody champions motherfuckers talking that real thug shit or that real hood gangster shit, but really kind of live that way. And he's kind of proven, you know, he's been in and out of jail like a motherfucker. Like he he's been arrested and in and out of jail. So his his the shit he talk about is somewhat documented. So these yeah. younger niggas, they look up to him like, oh my God, he's our generation's Tupac. They love that nigga. People talk about it all the time. Like his fan base is a motherfucker. They loyal as fuck. He wanted, his, he one of them niggas. He gonna be one of them niggas where. He young as hell now. He came in the game how old? Like what? Like 14, 15? 14, 15. He, yeah, he only he only like twenty two. Yeah, I think yeah, he, he only, only like, like twenty two. So like that nigga probably he gonna be like on Gucci Mane level when this he nigga a vet and, and, and he ain't even twenty five yet. He ain't yeah. even he ain't going nowhere. Like that nigga finna be here for a long time, and his career is just it's just gonna go up, and he probably just gonna get wiser from there. I mean, I'm excited to see how he grow. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Cause he he done he done came a long way, the little nigga, man. Yeah, yeah. He came a long way as fucking music ain't. <laughs> no, no, no. Music just saying. I, I can't I I'm can't just... get with it, but but I will say this: I I I respect what he got going on, cause you know what I'm saying he ain't no he ain't no they ain't, he ain't no little fake ass little nigga. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? more like, power more power to him. You know, definitely you know, do all that shit. Yeah. I just I can't I can't be there with you when you doing it. That's all I'm. That's all I can say. <laughs> you said I yeah. ain't fucking with do it. Do yeah. it. Do it. Do it. But I I just can't be there with you when you doing it. Hmm. Uh, hey, but what, but what you what you been listening? What you who your choice of artist? <coughs> I'm, uh, I'm all over the damn place. I know that's good. That good gas over there. Shit. <coughs> oh, you know it. <laughs> I ain't mad at you. Uh. So with me. Uh, I started off this Friday. Like I said, I scrolled through a bunch of shit. It was a whole bunch of niggas I never heard. Then the first thing I stopped on was, uh, y'all familiar with the producer Kenny Beats? Hell yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so I fuck with Kenny Beats. Everything I've heard from him has been pretty good. He another one that he can kind of do the little right now wave of shit, that kind of sound. But then he can yeah. also do some quote unquote real hip hop type shit some almost some Wu-Tang sounding type shit so he got a nice yeah. balance I appreciate artists producers or whatever that got balance so he came out with a project called Louie and what it is it's just pretty much like a beat tape you know what I'm saying matter of fact shit uh Paige you might want to listen to it and fuck with it nigga you might get inspired to to fuck with one of the tracks do a little mixtape track or some shit oh, okay. he, he got some, yeah he got some shit on there shit. Vine, I'm with you on on the JID. Uh, he 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 killed that shit. I'm fucking with it. I'm gonna have to fuck. listen to that. I ain't heard it yet, man. But I fuck with I fuck with all them. They whole team nice. And yeah, I love I, me some goddamn Ari Lennox. Mm. Yeah, I, I, Ari is like that. Uh, she kind of like that that regular black girl from the hood that's just cute and sexy and shit. Yeah, you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. She don't do a lot. She ain't too extra and shit. She just right. yeah. 
Yeah, I, I like yeah. Tall, no, I, you I, know I, what I'm saying? Just mm, naturally mm-hmm. fine, you know? Right. Yeah, I, I, I think she, I definitely think she cute. You know, I give it to her. <clears throat> I just she was they was she was doing something a while back that's making niggas go crazy. I don't know if she, I forget what it was doing, but like it, I, I guess it had it had other chicks out here mad at her for mm. some reason. And it's like, and then like they kept bringing pictures, like they like so this the girl that's making y'all this that and the third and the fifth, and I'm like man, if y'all. Don't, I'm like y'all really mad when a when a bitch not doing the most and being a whore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what, that's and do what and doing and or doing or doing whore or doing whorish activities when a when a when a yeah. bitch ain't following the horror program, it's something wrong with her. It ain't nothing wrong with y'all doing the whoring and acting like whores. There's something wrong with the one ain't trying to be like that. I was and like, you it's, know, it's stick know, out here. And you know, I th- that's one of the reasons why I hate social media so much because. Now, like the ugly truth about these bitches is like really out now. You know what I'm saying? Like it was like one of the things like I don't wanna know. You know what I'm saying? Now it's like, God damn, these hoes don't give a fuck. Yeah, I'm a hoe, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like they owe some straight ratchet demon time city girl three thousand shit, bro. Hundred percent. Uh, I talk about it all the time. It's pretty much the uh, the shame factor is kind of gone. gone. The shame gone. factor don't exist no more. And then the morality bar is basically on the fucking ground. So that's pretty much like where we're at. Like, it's nothing wrong with being a woman, a girl. It ain't nothing wrong with being sexy. It ain't nothing wrong with being sexual and all of that. But when you just embrace that as your whole existence, like... Bitch, you presenting yourself as a 24-hour fucking porn star ass bitch. And 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 what kind of attention and shit you think you going Oh, 499 a month. Only fans subscribing nah, we, as No, man, we, we we literally at the point like I've seen it. I just saw it the other day actually where it's like you got women saying like, "Oh, well, if you just to deal with me, just to talk to me, just to get my number." And I might deal with you. You gotta, you gotta pay a bill. And I'm just like, what the? Just yeah. to talk to you? Yeah. Just to, just to know who you? See, you face. know what? I'm Get so happy. Face. I am so happy. I have not ran into those type of women. I'm, I'm a pretty good judge of character when it comes to like, yeah, she ain't shit. Yeah, she just wants some, and yeah, she just good to knock off. You know what I'm saying? And like, oh yeah, I fuck with her. You know what I mean? Like, I, I just I'm I'm happy because I promise you, bitch would have got traded. Then like, bitch, you got me fucked up. Yeah. You got me fucked. Who the fuck? What? You think yeah. you're the only one around here? You don't they do no, they do, they yeah, do. But but they, it but it's like but it's like they not they're not realistic about a lot of stuff. Their expectations, like how do you how how are you pushing out all of these expectations when you can't even meet them for your damn self? You it know don't matter. I mean? They they have they got a vagina is what I've been told. Exactly. They well, that that, they have that that magical one. box. It, it's it's the most powerful. Force on the planet that magical well, box. Well, let me tell you something. That magical <laughs> box gonna get loose one day. It, it ain't gonna have no ridges on the inside of the pussy. That motherfucker gonna be smooth in the motherfucker. You ain't gonna... <laughs> Listen, I'm trying to tell you. Oh shit! I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> Y'all better do something. Do something else, cause it, cause dog, I, I ain't lying, man. I look, look. My Instagram. It's off the fucking chain. I'm talking about ass, ass. That's all you see, ass. Titty, oh yeah, titty, ass, ass. That's all, all you day. see. Like, and you wonder why? I mean, why we just want to fuck, shit, bro? Like, I'm so I'm like I'm irritated because it's like overly saturated now. Like every woman is doing this shit. You you feel what I'm saying? And then yeah. it's one of them things. Like, how the fuck are we getting flagged for speaking truth or saying some shit? That that you know that contains the truth, and we get flagged for that or, or get put at FB jail for thirty days. But shorty over here can 
can wear uh, one of them see-through shirts and expose her titties and nipples through it and everything and, and show her ass and not even get flagged? Like, what's exactly. going on? Because the the uh, the thirsty ass, sales, huh? A hundred thousand percent is sex sales. The thirsty ass algorithm. They got to keep that going. So with our content, you know, we was just pretty much, you know, it's on culture73.com. It's on YouTube. We got the audio just on uh, Spotify, Apple Music, uh, mm -hmm. Apple Podcasts and shit. So, you know, we wasn't really fucking with TikTok. I recently started fucking with TikTok because I ain't gonna lie. I do see the value in it now. It's not just a whole bunch of motherfuckers doing the little stupid ass dances and shit. I see the value in it. A lot of creators yeah. are fucking with it. Business people are fucking with it. You can grow grow an audience. But since I've been fucking with it recently, every time I post a clip from one of the episodes, bro, I have to appeal it. They, I, I go to it. It'd be like it, the I go to the video later just to check the numbers. It'll be zero views. I click it. Uh, sound removed. It violates the the guidelines of. And I'll go, and I'll go to it, and I'll be like, "Okay, you can cuss on social media, and that's pretty much it's some cuss words in there, but I ain't saying no crazy shit." But like you said, Paige, it's almost like if you're talking about some real shit or a certain context that's a little a, a little against the grain, it's not even offensive. They flag that shit. I have to mm -hmm. fucking appeal, and, and some of them. They've removed it, and then the numbers will go up, and then a couple of them they haven't, and I and I, I still appealed it again. Like you gonna have to sh break it down. What's offensive in this clip? Yeah, you can't I don't even matter. Speak facts. You can't. You can't even. You know what I mean? It's like it's starting with social media, and it's becoming okay now to the point where they're gonna end up ripping our freedom of speech. It's gonna become an actual thing, and I feel like that this is like a a, a social it um a social experiment what they doing right now to you know try to see how 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 much they could control the masses in what to say or what not to say you know what i'm saying i mean that's the world that we living in right now like you got jobs telling you what to say well how you supposed to dress you know how you supposed to present yourself you got you know, it's it's just so many rules and shit. You have to look a certain way to be to be this type of person, and you know what I mean. Like, yeah, who the fuck yeah. came up with these rules, man? The the powers that be is the problem. It's like now we live in a world where you you gotta you you gotta make everybody feel better about themselves. If you ain't making somebody feel better, you ain't making no good ass Kool Aid that everybody can drink from and shit. They don't want to hear what you got to say. You are is everything, everything, everything got to make somebody just tingle on the inside when you say it. Everybody Ooh, it sensitive. Feel, it makes me feel so good. You got to make everybody feel good. That's the problem. You it it got to the point. I remember growing the fuck up. The world had a good way of telling me, nigga, you just got to fucking deal with it. <laughs> exactly. Yep. And 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 it and it didn't matter how the fuck I felt about some shit. It didn't matter how wrong I thought it was or how offended I fucking was. Or none of that. Well, he's gonna have to deal with it. That's just what it is. And now we getting away from this fucking shit where no, maybe we don't gotta deal with it. Let's, you know, let's XYZ the fifth and the third. And you know, that's just where we heading. And I don't know, some gonna have to give because you're gonna have a section of people who gonna get tired of that shit, and then you're gonna have people on the other side just trying to keep pushing it forward till you damn, you can't say nothing. I mean, it's pretty That's much true. like you said, Paige. Uh, it, it's a, I definitely feel what, it's what, an agenda. What, like, I, it's control. Like, I mean, it, it's like, it's like right in your face, but it's like nobody's really doing nothing about it. And that's what I don't like about society. Like, when shit changed, they, all they do is complain about it and do nothing about it. And when the shits end up getting bad and getting worse, then they everybody running around like a fucking chicken with his head cut off. When you know when you got this fucking scientist dude that handcuffed himself to the to the fucking bank building or whatever, trying to warn people that some crazy shit finna go down, and and y'all need to stop what y'all doing because it's about to get worse. And they taking him as a fucking joke. And only we they only showed this man one time. 
I ain't heard nothing else from this. I don't know if he's still alive or what, but whatever he was trying to warn us about, y'all motherfuckers need to stop doing it. Yeah, man. Uh, it's it, it's wow. It's it's crazy world, but it, it's definitely. I definitely feel like all of this shit, the way uh, social media is constructed, it, it's really for real. Uh, first of all, it's it, it strives on the weak minded. You know what I mean. Second of all. It is like, like you said, Paige, like a control tactic because that's why the agenda is you can't say nothing about nobody because every and everybody gets offended because they want everybody to fucking think the same. And the world has never been like that. The world ain't supposed to be like that. You're, everybody's not supposed to think the same, look the same, and all that shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's a yeah, huge it's, part it's of it. It's slowly becoming a one world government. And that is one of them agendas that they have been trying to push for shit, shit before I, re I was even fucking born. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. And I'll you just... know, slowly but surely, technology and, and you know, they got all these different AI machines and shit trying to trying to give them citizenship and live amongst him. It's, 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 it's too fucking much going on. Why do we need that shit? We don't yeah. need that shit. Man. That's how shit just get fucked up. Cause then you just I don't know. You can't, even though it's true. I don't like I don't like the fact that shit be true and you still can't say shit about it. <laughs> right. Yeah, that, that's really what I don't like. Like yeah, that's what I'm this, saying. this this like you know, it, this a it America is a is a country of fat fucking people. It's a lot of fat people here. It is y'all some y'all y'all some fat y'all y'all some fat motherfuckers. It's fat. It ain't, I, I ain't trying to be. I ain't, I ain't trying to be funny. I ain't talking shit. Yeah, I ain't it's, trying to make no yeah. jokes. You look at other countries and they all lean. You know what yeah. I'm saying? They all eat healthier than a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? They ain't eating all the bush, all the you know, all the processed shit with all the fucking additives and you know what I'm saying and bullshit, artificial bullshit and all of that. They out there eating good. And I, I saw I had saw a clip or whatever, and they were showing like different countries and the and the foods that they eat. And every mm -hmm. country plate looked healthy as fuck. They showed American shit. They had bullshit ass pizza, Sloppy. some old fucking processed yeah. ass fucking bullshit, some yeah. sweet ass fucking uh uh fruit in the cup. You know, it ain't, it ain't no real yeah. natural fruit. You know what I'm saying? Just all bullshit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah man it is what it is we uh we getting real real up in here let me get back to this music but i, I appreciate it because there's a whole bunch of real niggas in this room this is what i expected rock marciano dropped a project with alchemist i'm fucking with that one i did see that yeah king king of the underground in this motherfucker uh it do y'all know weird. uh michi darko Mm -mm. No, I ain't never heard of Michi Darko. Mm -mm. Uh, Michi of. Darko, I'm fucking with him. His new project is called Gothic Luxury. Uh, I fuck with him. He another one mixed the old with the new real good. Got a okay. super grimy ass voice. Like, the, like that grimy New York grid, grid type shit? Uh, it's kind of grimy. Like It's so funny. Like When I listen to his shit, I almost get like a a New York slash Midwest vibe. If you think about okay. some, like some old crucial conflict, you think about oh, some, uh, a G to a key back in the day that was on rap a lot that he, he kind of like on that kind of shit. But, but okay. I, I think y'all would like it. Yeah. Michi Darko, Gothic luxury. Michi uh, Darko. I'm gonna look yeah. Up. Outside of that. Uh yeah, I'm oh uh Scotty ATL. Much props and respect to Scotty ATL. You know, he doing big things with his grill company. He expanded out to the West Coast, got Atlanta on fire, really coming with different styles of grills that niggas ain't never done before. But outside of that, I met dude shit years ago in Atlanta when he was just coming up. Dude can wrap his ass off. He's super underrated to me. Every project I've heard from Scotty ATL is a fucking vibe. Uh, his new okay. one is is no different. Uh, it's called uh, Candelier Road, Candelier Road to Melrose, which he's referring to. Candelier Road is a big, uh, you know, street in Atlanta, and then Melrose. Everybody know Melrose Place and whatever that is in L.A. or whatever. His shit yeah. is raw. I'm fucking with that. Uh. 
outside of that, I skimmed through the through the Khaled. You know, I had to go to the verse everybody talking about with the Jay Z verse. It, niggas, you know, gassing it. It's the best JV, Jay Z verse ever, and all that. I Is love it? it? No, I, I, I love. I, I knew. I knew it wasn't. It, no. it wasn't. No. I knew it wasn't. Like I fuck with Jay Z. I didn't even listen to it. Yeah, I, I had to. I, I listened to it. I like the verse. He is spitting some game. Uh, but I think people was just super blowing it out of proportion and super impressed because the nigga did literally rap. Like his part of the song is the song as a whole is like nine minutes. Jay-Z rapped for four and a half minutes nonstop. So that <laughs> is <laughs> that is impressive. And people was taking that trying to oh my god it's the best verse ever or it's the best verse jay-z has ever done just because it was long don't make it the best verse he's ever done you know what i mean that's that's pretty much what that was so but that's uh yeah that's pretty much all i'm fucking with uh as far as the music i know earlier page when we was talking you was telling me about the whole uh which i ain't seen the the roddy rich clip where He's on stage rapping, and uh, you said it was a sea of white folks. That was yeah, man, look, it him. was a, it was a nigga, it was an ocean of white folks. I'm talking about I, like whole like crowd wave of white folks dancing and shit. Motherfuckers all on on sitting on motherfuckers' shoulders and shit. And they, she sucked a nigga so. And so I, said, <laughs> I said, what? Hmm. So and that he poses, just, he just, you know, sing along with it. He a bitch ass <laughs> nigga, man. Fuck that little short midget ass, little hobbit <laughs> ass little nigga right there. I ain't got no respect for no nigga like that. I ain't got no respect for no <laughs> little short ass motherfucker. I ain't got no respect for no nigga like that, man. Who was real, who? Bro. Who was this again? Rowdy Rich. I like the one song he got, and then as I like to fuck it up for him, and that's that's about it. Yeah, the I box was know. the only thing I fucked. The box was it was it was a it was a fucking the box. Vibe. I like the box now. I don't like it now. I don't you like that, that shit now. Off. Fuck that nigga. So Fuck shit. Them. <laughs> them he probably one of them, one of them ignorant niggas. Was well, like hell. They they paying me money. Shit. I don't give a fuck. I mean, yeah, I, yeah. I genuinely, I genuinely wouldn't be surprised. There's a lot of rappers who like, oh, I don't give a fuck. Okay, I don't give a fuck. So well, why, that. well, why are you even on there? See, you, 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 the prime example, of niggas like you shouldn't even be on. But whatever. You're a part of the problem. It's niggas like that. That's a part of the problem, bro. Niggas like that get on. Don't even date sisters. They don't even. They don't even date. They don't even date sisters. They don't even. No, look, they go straight to the exotic like women the way. Yep, yeah, yeah. They go straight to the foreign and exotic, which Man, that's a lot cool. Of them chicks, a lot of them chicks, they are. Man, I, copy I, black it's women. It's just not attractive to me, bro. Like, I just think of bimbo when I see them. Like, I like natural black <laughs> woman. So I you know that. what I'm saying? Fan, so, I like fan natural black woman. Oh, yeah, y'all seen sure. y'all seen that beautiful picture when I uh, paused out? Y'all saw my woman. She she fan my woman. Natural beautiful. That's what yeah, I yeah. like. All, all that video vixen BBL shit. Y'all give nah, my damn like, out nah, One yeah. day y'all booties gonna pop. Yeah. Oh Ooh. yeah. I, I say that all the time. It, it, it's gonna be a whole bunch of this generation is gonna be a whole bunch of sixty year olds, sixty five year olds. Shit gonna be ass gonna be today. The back of they motherfucking calves looking Man. crazy as fuck. <laughs> Obviously y'all didn't kind of stated how you feel without me even asking, but y'all didn't pretty much stated it. So. I, th- I pretty much we all on the same page that a non-black person should never be allowed to say nigga. We all agree on that. But not it, around me. No. No. When yeah, you're not when you're not when you're not around me, you can say whatever the fuck you want to say. <laughs> you it know, ain't my problem. Mexican, the Mexicans in Houston, they use that word freely. Well, see, that's that's people, what I was uh them real tough. You know what I'm saying? But see, and that and that was my next question. So this is how I kind of feel about it. Now, definitely a non-black person, or I should say a white person, definitely should not say nigga. It's just, it got too much historical pain, too much historical I- issues behind that word coming out of your white mouth. You shouldn't even want to say it as a white person. Say, yeah, the to ER. my black ears. The ER too with it. It's just, it's too much with that. But 
it's always going to be an ongoing issue. Rap opened the doors kind of for that. Uh, and then also, outside of the issue, getting to what you were saying, Paige, like the Mexicans, the Puerto Ricans, stuff like that. So I, I look at it like this. With that, it's kind of a thin line. I, I would say, so for example, I'm originally from Gary, Indiana. Obviously, then grew up mostly around 90% black people. But I, I grew up with some Mexican and Puerto Rican homies that was straight in the hood. They were straight niggas, yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? They grew up with me. Uh, they they was they kind of lived the black experience. They they and, and then I look at it too, like they minorities as well. You know what I mean? But, so so does that? I I kind of sometimes depending on it, and I know it's kind of a thin line. That I can't say that will bother me. I've been around Mexican Puerto Rican motherfuckers that they said niggas, but they've been like from that they from that culture they minorities they, they Afro, as well they, they afro latinos see it's a different yeah. you got the afro latinos then you got you got them whitewashed latinos yeah that them the ones i got a problem with you i want to tell on you on the job and shit and worry about everything you doing all the motherfucking time you ain't even bothering them they just it's just everything you do bother they soul because you black yeah, and they feel like when they go run to the white man, the white man is gonna praise them even more. So they feel more privileged and stuff because they tried to ruin a black person on the job. I've had the I've had that happen uh, several times, a few times. You know what I I'm saying? A, and they just nitpick and fuck with you, man. Like leave me the fuck alone. It be the ones that be straight from Mexico, nigga. Nah, I, I don't like the. Well, I I take it a different angle. I don't like the ones where. I'm more or less, I guess I'm I like reluctantly, like I I guess nigga, whatever. That's kind of my, you know, I ain't gonna look at you. I low-key ain't comfortable with them saying it all the way, but I'm like, okay, it's better than you than these old pink motherfuckers, but you know, whatever. So, but but I it's the ones where it's like they all about that, you know, nigga shit and whatever amongst themselves. But then when it comes to actual niggas and shit like that, they don't want nothing to do with you or don't want to yeah. talk to you or no shit like that. That's kind of when I got a problem where it's like, OK, but you going to take our whole lifestyle and all this other shit quietly amongst yourselves. But then the, the originators of this fucking lifestyle that you adopted come around you, you you acting funny, you acting different. That's kind of that's kind of a problem I got with that whole thing. But Puerto Ricans. And Dominicans, they they get a pass. They get a pass. Man. Yeah, a, a, a lot pass. of them. Like I said, this is how I look at it. Once again, they all my they they still minorities, just like we are. Second of all, especially when you get into the Puerto Ricans and the Cubans and Dominicans, a lot of them motherfuckers is our same skin color or darker. You know what I mean? Right. Shit. So it's like. Cause, it cause to be honest, cause to be honest with the Puerto Ricans and, and Dominicans, I've never experienced segregation with them. It's yeah. always been the Mexicans. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, you know they they all the Puerto Ricans and Dominicans, they always fuck with us. It 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 was it was, it was nothing. It was always segregation with the Mexicans. I never understood that. Mm, I feel you on that. I came across that as well. Yeah. All right, man. So we're gonna move along. Uh so one of the first topics we got is we talking about uh yay. You know, it, it don't go too many <laughs> months <laughs> where this nigga ain't ain't in the news somehow, some way, in a small way, a big way, or whatever. And I just honestly feel like he just throw out comments just to uh, we ain't heard from Ye in a couple months. Let me let me say some bullshit to get him talking about me. That's that's pretty much how I feel about Ye. Like with this statement. So this was a few days ago. Uh, he went on social media. I think it was on Twitter or whatever. This was uh, actually just Sunday on the 4th. So he basically said that, you know, he'd been beefing, first of all, with Adidas, you know, back and forth with them executives and the shit with Yeezy and all that shit. Still? But this, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. they ain't got that shit. They ain't got, you know, it, it takes time for shit like this. this. Still, I thought that was long gone. That was years ago I first heard that shit. 
He's yeah, and it's with them niggas. It's still going. What? Uh, because because you know when it when it's that big money like that, and you got them big super multi million corporate corporations and lawyers involved and all that shit, they can drag that out for fucking years in court and lit- litigation and shit. It ain't no quick ass shit. That like shit, that. it just be tripping y'all, nigga. Y'all gonna get it right back. <laughs> just give it here. Yeah, no. Y'all gonna no. get it back in thirty minutes. God damn. No. Greedy bastards. Exactly. They said sit your black ass down. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, yay. He so he uh put the caption best song in the history of music to date. This is what he wrote next to the screenshot of uh the one joint Essence, you know, had Tim's on there uh by Wiz Kid. Um, now don't get me wrong, song is dope. It was wasn't a really what wasn't really no song hotter like last year than that. That shit was a true vibe. The song was dope, but yeah. for Ye to say for anybody, in my opinion, to say the best song in the history of music to date, you're either fucking trolling or you just a motherfucker that ain't familiar with music. And we know he trolling. Yeah, we know Ye is very familiar with music. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, hey, but hey, did you see that where he said uh that nigga said he said Kim has diarrhea a lot? <laughs> he go say like way more than normal. <laughs> he said way more than the normal person should have. And then Kim <laughs> had text the nigga and she said, <laughs> what she say? She said, please stop posting our private text messages on Instagram. He said, Bitch, I know you texting this from a toilet. He is. Yeah, he is a petty little nigga, boy. Yeah, he Ooh. right now. They ain't gonna. Yeah, he ain't gonna stop till they they send some goons after him. Like I, I know they live. You know, I know they live a public life. I get it, but it gets to a point, especially with shit like that. Like that's totally unnecessary. She's he. At the end of the day, y'all ain't together, but you still. That's still your baby mama. Your kids see that shit. Right. Like, it, it's unnecessary in <clears throat> a motherfucker. You ain't got to do all that. I'll put it like this. Y'all ever notice, like you just said, we can't go a few months. It's almost like this nigga is under contract or some shit to do and say this dumb ass shit that he be doing. Cause it, <laughs> but the nigga cause I mean, said he was, he was going to get well. Because it, it literally come out too on, too on schedule, too on... Just when you start, I mean, damn, this nigga Kanye ain't did nothing crazy. Anyway. Kanye just, I don't know, pushed the baby into a lake. I don't know, and I'm just like, nigga, we, you know, are they, are they, is this, are you, do you got to do this or something? Do somebody got you in a chokehold? Like, nigga, you better keep doing this crazy shit or something. Because I'm just like, dude, see me, I, me I, I, it's a... like ain't no peace, ain't no nothing. Like, nigga, you don't want to just chill for he's a year. Right. We can't hear he's from just... you for like a year or two. A, a no bullshit. Literally every couple weeks, you gotta do something. You just keep choosing violence, and then and then what? And then what's funny about him? He be talking shit, and then he he delete everything. (laughs) (laughs) Right, right. Ah, that should be funny as hell. Like nah, like like if I delete it, they'll they'll never they'll they they won't remember if I delete it. Like boy, man, man, this motherfucker's gonna stand by screenshotting your shit, boy. Oh, for sure. Oh yeah, they live for that shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just think with Yay, it's a combination of things. I think first, first and foremost, you gotta me us on the outside looking in. None of us personally know this nigga, but we do know for a fact. Which is a a good thing and a bad thing. He's always been an egomaniac. He's always thought he was the the shit and the best. Then you you take that, you get him into the music business, and the music business and the fans. We basically confirm everything that he's been feeling for the past years. Right? I told y'all I am the shit. Look at you. Then yeah. you go from that to now. I'm one of the few black men in the history of this fucking planet that has become a multi-billionaire yes i'm going to i'm going to i can say and do kind of like whatever the fuck i want to do so you take those options those uh those factors into yes he might have some mental issues as well so you can bind them two together yes this that gives us yay and i and i and certain in certain aspects i ain't even mad at 
let let me become a fucking billionaire. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna be a fucking mess, nigga. I'm gonna say whatever the fuck. If I get up in the morning on the toilet <laughs> and I want to say some bullshit, I'm gonna go live from the toilet, nigga. Like, yep, <laughs> all y'all bitches, blah blah blah, whatever. Yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> shit. A yep. billionaire, nigga. You can't tell me shit. Not a oh. goddamn thing. <laughs> yeah. All you can do is open up my car door and close it and open up the front door and close it behind me. Yeah, yeah. He like he he's at that point, you know, that people don't like to throw that around, you know. Uh cancel culture is still a thing. It's kind of dying down a little bit, but it still exists. But I, mm-hmm. I and people don't like to say that nobody can't be canceled, but yay is kind of he's kind of fall under that umbrella like he's canceling himself yeah That's you know what, what i mean doing. yeah up here selling, he, up here yeah. selling overpriced ass t-shirts with a with a smudgy ass eagle on the back for a hundred dollars and shit no nah, they, they love i him. think he canceled proof for real for the most part he had to do some egregious shit yeah he like, got to do some, some yeah. unforgivable shit you can't come back from no matter yeah. who you are like well he did some taylor swift shit and he came back from that Man, you know, you know it, white that, people they love Taylor Swift. What and look they at her and look at her. I'm like, look at her. Do they even still feel the same about her? I ain't seen her in years. Right. You know what I'm saying? Same with Justin Bieber. I ain't seen that nigga in years either. Oh, uh, yeah, he's so, still doing shit. Yeah, they he, still he's around. Still rocking. Yeah, yeah, he's they, still rocking. Th- th- those two you just named are staples in the white community. We just don't fuck with them. Yes. You just don't fuck with them. So you ain't <laughs> seen them. But believe me, they, they still are Taylor that, Swift. She just won the fucking Grammy like a year or so ago, nigga. They still, see, they love I, I, I suffer from the reverse of that shit that white people got. I suffer from the reverse of it, where it's like if I don't, if I don't know about her, hear about it, the shit, ain't it, he ain't he ain't moving no numbers, man. You shit. said if I heard about white, white, right, white, white people do that shit all the time. So I'm like, shit, I ain't heard nothing from Taylor Swift. She must have fell the fuck off, dude. Hell dude, no. listen, I know who Garth Brooks is, but I don't listen to his music. Can no. I, let me tell you, the whole city, the whole city went to go mm. see Garth Brooks. Yeah. Because he, cause he you submitted couldn't, it. You couldn't make it nowhere. You couldn't park nowhere. Nothing. Everybody with their cowboy boots on and their cowboy <laughs> hat on and shit, taking their ass to go see goddamn Garth Brooks. He Boy, likes was, I'm talking about it was lit. Mm. He just solidified. He ain't got to. He, he didn't did his thing already. He didn't made his name. So it's like, shit. His his name is 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 him getting paid. Like shit. I I just want to go see this motherfucker do something. I think yeah. certain artists just reached that point where like it don't matter no more. Mm. I, I am who I am, and niggas going I'm still gonna sell this shit out. Exactly. Don't matter. Yeah, I'm about to play this clip for y'all in a minute. Uh, so pretty much this is this clip right here to me. Uh, I'm one of them niggas. I love like little moments in hip hop. You know what I mean? It's it's been big moments. It's been small moments, but I just like little little shit like this. Uh, let me play this shit. Where is that? So I'll say for me, okay, so that clip y'all just seen, uh, you know, Nas is on his New York State of Mind tour right now. He going there all over. So he was in Michigan uh, Saturday night on the uh, third. Yeah, he was at on uh, in Michigan. So Flav, Flavor Flav, uh, Public Enemy fame, the most famous hype man ever, uh, he comes on stage with uh, – People was acting like it was planned, but then it seemed like it wasn't planned. But Flav comes on stage with Nas as he's performing Made You Look. You know, he do his little classic Flavor Flav dance. And just to see them as an older nigga that's familiar with both of them like that, especially from their beginnings. If I was at the show and I see Flavor Flav, totally unspected, come on the stage and he do the Flavor Flav dance, 
Yeah, for an older nigga, that would have done it for me if I was there. That, yeah. that's, it, it's a moment. You know what he I'm saying? It, it's a moment. A moment that you really don't expect. It's Nas, legendary as fuck, one of the best. And then Flavor Flav, iconic. This nigga, literally Flavor Flav is like fucking 60-something right now. And mm-hmm. for him to still be out here, still doing this thing, like I said, Kicking that's what like we want to see. Yeah, yeah, that's what we want to see. You know what I mean? So it, it was a, it's a little moment. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, that was a dope moment. That really yeah. was. I bet and, I was like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yo. And Flav doing his little uh he been doing that dance forever, nigga. Forever. I'm not I'm I'm not familiar <laughs> with dance. I'm yeah, not familiar with it. Boy. Yeah. That, well, that. I mean they I mean they 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 heyday was way well past my my coming of age. So oh yeah. So yeah. there's that, but then like as somebody who was newly introduced to that, I'm like, so this is a dance that y'all saying that this nigga did, but he looked like this one nigga that used to be on this long ass street we got in Dayton called Gettysburg, where mm-hmm. and, and there's this wino ass nigga would just he would just dance all in the middle in between red lights <laughs> in the middle of the street, just like that with a bottle of wild Irish rose, and I would be like. No, I was like, if y'all wouldn't have told me that that shit was a dance or something that Flav used to always do, I was like, so this nigga uh, Flav and stumbled out onto the stage drunk as hell. Nah, no, nah, that's his Got that's it. his signature dance, man. Signature dance, nigga. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah. I never never was familiar with a dance. Never heard nothing about no dance or nothing. Oh yeah, yeah. Rest in peace to the dead, uh, Pat Stay. Uh, he's been all over the internet. Uh, he was a rapper, battle rapper, MC. Um, I was not familiar with him. Um, I mess with battle rap life. I'm not the deepest into it. Not familiar with everybody. Um, just off the top, my favorite battle rapper uh, is Loaded Lux. Um, he does it for me. But yeah, rest in peace, Pat Stay. Um, so pretty much... This was just uh, Saturday as well, Sunday morning. Uh, he was stabbed. He was a Canadian battle rapper. He was stabbed to death early Sunday morning uh, right outside a club. Uh, where was they at? This was Canada. in. Yeah, there was in Canada. Some club called Halifax or something. Yeah, so he was stabbed. Oh, he ended up yeah. being one of, the, one of the 10 victims they got stabbed up. I think so. Yeah, let me see. Uh, cause you know they had so went on the stabbing spree out there. I kind of heard about that. Now I don't know if this is the same incident. Cause this one they saying like it's more concentrated to just to that club where it happened. So I don't know if it's still if those two incidents are connected or not. They don't really go into details. Damn, they don't shoot niggas in Canada. They're right, that's on. Yeah, <laughs> I was, well, I was just about to say that nigga. They that... Land, but they stab niggas out there. Well, I was just saying a nigga from out west, the Drake or the ruler, he got stabbed a couple months ago and died. He yeah, he did after after a show. When they rolling loud, I think. Yeah, or some. I'm like, how the fuck, nigga? How you get killed backstage? What? It's grimy out backstage. There. That shit ill. That's ill. Where the yeah. security at? What the fuck you mean? It's like that. I thought that security was like that. Yeah, I would. I would thought. Shit. That's yeah. some. That's some. That's some straight assassination shit. Like. That's some, like yeah, some sent, inside some Judas one shit. Of the guys. Yeah, like somebody sent one of the guys. Like yeah, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, yeah, but he uh, take care of this. I wasn't familiar with him. Uh, they said t- two days, so two days before he got stabbed, uh, you know, on Game's album, he got that song. Uh, what is it, the Black Eminem or the Black Marshall Mathers, where he kind of rapping like Eminem and kind of dissing him at the same time. So Pat Stay, you know, he's a white guy. I guess in his white rapper defense. He makes a diss song, had a video and all that shit about game. Uh, I checked it out. It was, you know, it was all right. It was cool. But in the video, he dropping clips, clips I've never seen from like motherfuckers like Joe Budden, Method Man, a few other people like talking about Pat State. Like, oh, he's a force in battle rap and he's this and he's that. But I had never, uh, never heard of him or anything. I, I pulled up a clip, though. 
Um, we play that for a minute. This is like from one of his battles from like a year ago. Yeah, so, and I saw a few other clips. I mean, he had some prominent people talking about him. Personally, the clips I saw, they was all right. Um, but like I said, I'm not the deepest into battle rap. Traditionally, my favorite battle rappers are, like I said, Loaded Lux, uh, Murder Mook, and Daylight. Mm -hmm. Those are the yep. three that I've seen personally that have, like, blew my fucking mind in battle rap. So, yeah. Yeah, did y'all know about this dude or ever heard of him? Or? No, I ain't, I ain't never heard of him. I mean, it's okay. unfortunate though, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, it's just time is short. Yeah, definitely. We're living out here for real, man. Like niggas steady mm -hmm. sneaking out. They've been doing that for for a little minute now. Yeah. So this has been all over the news as well. Um, T.I., he finally had to come and respond about it. Uh, so T.I. responds to his son, King, being arrested. Uh, T.I. said he's just chasing after the wrong shit. Cause they, so King, uh, his son is like 20 years old. Y'all know him, the one. He, they look funny as fuck. Yeah, I know he is. Yeah, like man, 18. I, yeah, oh, funny looking ass. Oh, he looked like he looked like a, a, the goldfish cracker. I know exactly. What that nigga about. is one of one. <laughs> Ain't nobody out there that look like him. He he look like I a said, character. He look I like said, a, he look like a he look like one of them video game characters or something. He's, he's did he so have her with tiny. Looking. Did he have her with uh, tiny? Do you have yeah, him with Tiny? Course. Hell oh, yeah, yeah, nigga. Said, Do you see that nigga? I said, I said, I said, yeah, I said, I said, I was, no, I was about to say that. That's the, that answer your question right there. I wanted yeah. to make sure first before I, before I say shit, but I'm like, yeah. but if that's if that's him and Tiny's baby, I said, oh, there you fucking go, right there. I said, yeah. well, nigga, you, nigga, you should have known that. Yeah. That nigga, he act light skinned as fuck. Yeah, it's just uh, T.I., he came and responded. He, you know, he didn't. They really ain't going into details about what he got arrested for. I know he's had little past, little small issues with the law, uh, but T.I. just kind of came on social media and responded, like, saying, y'all all in my comments and y'all telling me uh, what I should do to rectify this and talk to me and tell me advice about my son. He was like, y'all think y'all ain't, I ain't talked to my son. You think I ain't uh, told him this and that? Why y'all all in my comments and shit? And this is the kind of thing where I get it because once again, public people, y'all gonna be subject to this kind of shit. You know, I, I, I'm personally not gonna do that. I'm not gonna go on social media and tell another man right. how the fuck he should do with his son. But right. we just on the outside looking in. And it's just one of them things. We've seen it before, more so a lot with white kids. Cause usually, like I said, black folks, we're just getting to our first generation of millionaires and billionaires and all that shit but right. we've been seeing this shit for years with white folks the 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 spoiled ass white kid they got all the opportunity all the money all the advantages and the motherfucker just for whatever reasons he's not happy and he wants to act out and uh mm -hmm. fuck you mom and dad and just all, all this bullshit yeah. but it's the same thing in the in in the black form with this because on the outside looking in where you trying to like because we, we ain't the only niggas to say that. Yes, you look funny looking. You a little nigga. So you already going to come off as being a little softer or a little goofy or whatever. Your daddy is one of the most famous hard gangster rapper niggas ever. So you trying to prove yourself. You trying to maybe prove that you hard and all that stuff. But once again, you, you wasn't raised like that. You didn't come up like that. You was born into money. We nigga, we First know you. First of all, the nigga trust. was wearing choker chains and all that old weird ass shit. Oh shit! And, uh, he looked know. like a boy. He looked like a fucking boy girl. Like it, it's hard to explain this nigga face. It's so <laughs> like what yeah, the fuck? Nah. Like like I'm waiting on him to grow some facial hair. Maybe you know, maybe it'll help him out. You know what I'm saying? Nah, like yes, no. Nah, I saw like nigga. the type that probably ain't gonna grow no facial hair. Nigga, he got the Jay Z face. No, I saw this nigga for the first time the other day. I said, "Is that th is that him?" And I said, "This nigga look like an action figure, bro. Like I mean, just plasticky. He look like yeah. waxy. That's he look plasticky, waxy as hell, dude. Like why you look like that? Why you look like you just slick?" Uh, uh, he looked like a cartoon brought to life. Like, like if you just like he, if you just threw him on the floor, he'll just slide. 
down on down the road and shit. Like I'm like, dude, you mm-mm. wax figurine looking. This nigga ass. look overly moisturized. Like it on me. I don't. <laughs> Like he sweat Crisco or something. I'm like, bro, you that shit ain't normal, bro. Go look at go look at that shit, bro. Yeah, but yeah, uh, but, yeah that's that's one weird looking one right there. But I will say that the Ti other son, that that boy Cole, he's a oh, nice yeah. MC man. He yeah, is so uh, nice, man. What is his name? Shit. Uh, uh, I fucked with his project. I, I major. Yeah. No, it ain't major. It's major. No, major is the is the little the young one. The, you know, the, the little, little young one. Um, damn, what's this? I can't damn, remember. I can't remember his name, man. But he that that boy nice. He real yeah. nice. And and he be on some, like not you know not traditionally what you think that a Ti son would come with. He ain't on that kind he of music. On that real he on some, shit. He be yeah. on some real shit. Yeah, definitely. I, I was fucking with some of his music. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She like hitting in crystals, a little we here and there. The voice, yeah, snapped. yeah, yeah, definitely. But uh, yeah, still, you know, much respect out to Ti and Tiny, and you know, hopefully y'all can, you know, get on his ass and kind of get them together, cause yeah, like we we see enough of our black youth and our black men get into bullshit and trouble and go to jail and all that shit. And usually we doing it because we in the trap, we in the hood, and we ain't got no motherfucking uh, choices, nigga. We trying to put food on the table. We trying to survive. So we out here in these streets, and we taking these motherfucking jail chances and all that shit. So if, if we can, you a motherfucker that's not in that situation. Like, don't put yourself, don't create a situation. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to live that life. You know what I'm saying? That's the main message. I would have for him. And I know that's probably what T.I. Is, is is in his ear with. Like, boy, what is you doing, nigga? I didn't been to jail and took all these chances and, and busted my ass to give you a good life. And you out here putting yourself in, in bullshit ass uh, uh, situation. Man, he I guarantee you he trying to live up to something. I guarantee you. He, he probably just trying to whatever, live up to something. Yeah, whatever it is, it ain't working, man. You, 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 you I can't take the I can't take his face serious. You know, what I'm I saying? just feel like he. I feel like he must got kids or something in his ear or something or peers or something in his ears, like well, you know. or some hyping them. Uti son or something or something. It got to be because like, you like because peer the pressure little, is a motherfucker. The, the I remember on the reality show where he was like calling himself like first starting out performing and stuff like that. He was being difficult as fuck. They like, mm. what's wrong with you? He was like throwing temper tantrums and started crying and shit. I'm like, what's, oh, what's wrong with that nigga? Something wrong with that boy. Something wrong with him. Mm. For real. He, he he might be schizophrenic, you know, schizophrenic or something like that or whatever. Because he been doing little dumb out-of-pocket ass shit. Mm. Really? Yeah, I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah, I'm it's like hard to say, man. Sometimes, uh, you know, everybody is different. Everybody's mind is different. Sometimes kids in that situation, they just, uh, I don't know what the fuck it be. It's, it's almost like because your life was so easy, m- easier than your average motherfucker. Like, you ain't really had to go through no hard shit. It make you softer or something or not as, I don't know, not as strong-minded type shit. Because, cause, yeah. yeah. Well, us on the outside looking in, yeah, I, I'm I'm living the life. My life is better than most. I, I have more opportunities than, than uh, most black people. And can't no little ghetto ass nigga uh, from Bankhead out there uh, <laughs> I- influence me to do some fuck shit. You know what I mean? Right. Nigga, please. Why am I taking uh, chances or, or trying to prove anything to you? I don't give a fuck. I ain't got to prove right. nothing to you. Yeah, that's so. what that's what that's what we respond to. That's what the young kids respond to, especially them girls. Shit. Yeah. So it might. It's, it, I'm telling you, it's somebody hyping them up, or he trying to live up to something. He's trying to show somebody yeah. something. They be listening to them little funky, funky ass little girls. They do. <laughs> them little funky ass little girls. Yeah, they, yeah, you'll do some. Head. You'll do some shit for them little girls. I'm telling you. Daddy a hood nigga. Right. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? 
Yeah, for sure. I'm a hood nigga too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah just stop, bro. Just leave it alone, bro. Just yeah. stop. <laughs> And, and just then, be the cool kid like Jaden Smith. <laughs> <you know>? <laughs> <laughs> this nigga <laughs> trying to sell. He's trying to sell recyclable jean jackets and shit. I can't take him serious neither. Man, I'm man, not wearing no man. jean jacket made out of no damn seventy five percent plastic bottles. Boy, it's over with. <laughs> oh, <laughs> now see, but but with Jaden, uh, me and Paige was talking about that earlier too. Like, I I can respect. Like to me, I can respect what he does because he come obviously he was born into a rich ass black family as well but he just embraces that and kind of makes it work for it so he, he ain't trying to be something that he's not yeah no, right. that's, he's, he's that really is true. in his truth he's in his truth you know what i'm saying he in his lane his own yeah, lane yeah he in his own lane man yeah like like i i ain't mad at him i, I ain't mad at this oh, he, he is he on some straight save the planet all that shit. Now, I, I, I ain't mad at that shit. You know what I mean? For sure. I ain't mad at it. E- even with his music. Um, it's some Jaden music I have uh, fucked with through the years. He, he You know, not all of yeah, it, but yeah. some of it I didn't fuck with. He had, he, yeah, he has he has some a few little bangers I used to put on repeat. Yeah. Some of the shit he did, uh, his solo shit, a couple joints he did with uh, like ASAP Rocky and shit. Yeah, he, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, he had some shit. But I, I can respect it. Like, like you said, he living in his truth. He ain't trying to be something he ain't. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Uh, so, yeah, man. Uh, that's pretty much it, man. It was kind of a slow, uh, you know, news week. Didn't too much shit go on over the weekend. That's, that's, pretty, much, uh, that's pretty much it. But uh, definitely, Paige, uh, I'm glad you, you joined us today, man. Yeah, man. For sure, man. Definitely have you back soon. Uh, like I said, this man, uh, if y'all ain't familiar with him, I'm telling you, you can sing his ass off, rap his ass off. In my former life, when I was an artist, me and this dude that made hits together like a motherfucker. Um, yeah. yeah, just just an all-around solid guy as well, for sure, for sure. Yeah, man. And hey, y'all can find me on Open Page Podcast, man. Uh, look look me up on YouTube. Uh, follow the page on um, on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Open Page Podcast. O P E N P A G E Podcast. For sure, for sure. Yeah, y'all definitely check out this guy. But y'all will be seeing him again, uh, real soon. Collaborating with the guys uh, all day for sure. Um, for but sure. we about to get out of here. But um, you know, once again. Appreciate the love, that support. Uh, hit that notification bell so you are aware every time we drop. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit them comments, and just uh, show the love, man, so we can keep this shit going. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of platforms out there. Um, it's not a whole bunch that are truly from the hip hop culture and for the hip hop culture especially there's not a lot that really try that their format is to bring balance back to hip-hop culture you know what i'm saying that's our goal it's definitely not a lot to do that so if y'all down with that shit if you with that movement uh support quest combo uh podcast uh, like i said you can watch us on culture73.com you can watch us on youtube uh you can also if you can't watch us you can listen on spotify or uh apple podcast so we drop every friday at 11 a.m y'all check us out get familiar much love um like i said y'all been watching quest convo where we talk the culture because we are the culture and i am your favorite hip-hop connoisseur drew soul quest and i'm his guy von shula oh yeah oh yeah and i'm last page man yeah yeah So we are out, man. Much love. Till next time, y'all. Love.